this is my dream. Yes. The French market is closing. That was pretty fast. That was, that was so really good. good. The beignets are going away? Powdered sugar falling all over the place. Paddle harder. <laughs> I am really excited for that. Welcome back to Disneyland and welcome back to Neverland Adventures where you never have to grow up. I'm Kristen. And I'm Brad. We are here at Disneyland today because we are gonna check out a few things that are happening in January. The French market is closing. The beignets are gonna be going away. We have all the details coming, so stay tuned. Let's go. That is a true story. Take a moment, take a moment, let that sink in. So what does that mean? Are you still gonna be able to get mint juleps and beignets? Okay, I've gathered myself. My gosh, think about how busy it is over here usually. They are closing it for good reason and they're gonna be opening something called Tiana's Palace, which yes. I think will actually be really cool. I think that the new redesigned Tiana's Palace is gonna look pretty awesome. Well, I'm sad to see French Market go, but I really do think that it will be a really great addition. It's gonna fit in with... Yeah, the whole theming of the Slash. new Splash Mountain yeah. and Tiana's Bayou and it's all of that. It's gonna be fun, so, I'm excited for it. Yeah. I, as long as they just keep most of the same food. Yeah, and I'm, I'm they're, they're gonna obviously gonna food. keep the, you know, beignets. We just don't know where they're going to position them throughout the uh, park yes. for the future, but... Also, drop in the comments, which kind of beignets do you like the most? Yeah. Do you like the seasonal beignets? beignets, the maple bacon beignets, or just the OG Regular, beignets. Yeah. I want to hear from you guys. Drop that in the comments. You know Look what? at the Mark Twain going by. Oh my gosh. Get some waves. Come on, people. Don't ignore it. There we go. There we go. We got a wave. Look at that. Oh. Traffic over here is pretty crazy right now because literally all of the Adventureland side is totally closed off because they're refurbishing Indiana Jones and they literally have walled off that whole path. That means everybody gets funneled through Frontierland. And that's why it's a little bit busier over here than normal. Still not too bad though for a Friday. Well, here's the wall to Adventureland. They've got it all blocked off on this side from New Orleans Square. You can't get to Adventureland from here anymore, at least for probably a few months. So that just means we have to walk a little bit longer, but that's okay. I don't mind walking and neither does Kristen. Well, here's a look at this fence in the daytime. Kind of wild. Actually, you can see barely through there. You can see the Pirates of the Caribbean plaque on the front of the building but yeah you were definitely not able to get through here and this could be this could be a while could be a I, few I, few months well i feel like maybe what they're doing is they're going to do the outside or whatever they're doing behind these walls yeah. now because yeah. as the season you know it gets more into spring we're going to get spring breakers and all that and they're going to want this pathway back True. open probably so True. my guess is they're doing it now during more of like a shoulder season while the yes. park is a little less busy and then they'll bring those down and probably work on whatever they're going to do on the inside of Indiana Jones. Yeah, that makes That's sense. just a guess. Nah, that's a guess. We don't really know, just but if anyone from Disney's watching and they want to let us know what's going on, hey. Drop a comment below. <laughs> And uh, if you are watching this, let us know what's your favorite thing to do in Adventureland? Is it Indiana Jones? I think for us it probably is. Oh, but yeah. historically speaking, I mean, the Jungle Cruise, you really no have to appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Um, we do love the Jungle Cruise, and I wish we could go on it, but the wait times went way up. Yeah, it was pretty lengthy when I walked by that line earlier. Yeah. Isn't it wild, like over here, where it, this is usually one of the busiest areas of the park yeah. where people are walking through and now it's kind of like a ghost town. The ghost town over here, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Kind of wild. What they be doing behind those walls? We made our way into the Pioneer Mercantile and you spotted this hat a few days ago. Yeah. It is a cool hat here. Not for me. Well, let's see what it looks like. For you. Go ahead. I'm not a trucker hat. Put it on. Hmm, I actually like it quite a bit. 
On me? Yeah. I meant for you. Well, we can try me too, but yes, they are cool. Let's try you now. I have to say, all right, let's try it out. Here we go. Swap them out. Also, definitely like this sweatshirt here. It kind of matches the I same really color that, that you have going on here. I know, I like the blue. Oh yeah, that's really good on you. <laughs> Ooh, well thank you for that compliment. I love that. I appreciate that. Do a little that. spin to the side, to the side, to the front. Model status. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think we need that. Getting I it? I love that. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, wow, okay. I really like the fact that we're seeing the Columbia, the Mark Twain, and the canoes, and the boats that go across. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so which out of all four of those is your favorite? Drop a comment below. Which out of the four is your favorite, oh, Chris? Oh, the Columbia. The, the Columbia is your favorite? The pirate ship. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Mark Twain. Definitely not the canoes, sorry canoes. <laughs> I'm scared of those. <laughs> All right, we're going across to Tom Sawyer's Island. It's been a while and it just sounded fun to me. We did, and we never have gone to the fantastic part. I know, I'm really excited we're to do that actually. We're making stands and says, this is my dream. Yes. And we made it to Tom Sawyer's Island. I have to say, this is a view that we have never seen before. Because really, up until recently... This is my dream! Hey, you sound just like Mickey. They had this whole area closed and blocked off for almost a year. Right after the park opened, you couldn't even come over here. And uh, we just haven't had a chance after they reopened this area. We haven't had a chance to come over here. But I have to say... This looks pretty cool over here. I like it. Paddle harder. Wow, this is a cool spot to hang out. This is a really cool spot to hang out. We haven't come over here before. No. It's kind of crazy because this is like where they do like the, the dragons over here. And all of that. <laughs> Look at the water. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I love the view from here. It's a totally new like way to look at the park and it's right in our favorite area. And look, there's so much room for activity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I mean, this is where they, the giant dragon pops out of here for Fantasmic. Mickey's standing right here talking about how this is his dream. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it over here. I'm, gl I'm glad that Tom Sawyer's Island is like a thing because, um, we don't come over here all that often, but... More in the summer, I would say, because it's a really good hangout spot in the summer for when it's like, you're wanting a shady spot out of the yeah. It's a really nice place to come. For sure. A lot of, you know, people come over here and they'll have like a little picnic or something, which is yeah, fun. Yeah, we've but done we've that. We've done that a couple times, sure. and that's super fun. But... Oh, yeah. Not today, but yeah, yeah. Hey, we're going to do some more picnics over here without a doubt. Um, all right. Where's your next? I don't know. Stay tuned. Something that we cannot forget about right now is Haunted that Haunted Mansion holiday. Right there. Is right there, yes. But it's I can still hear the open. music. I can hear the spooky music. I love the spooky music from Haunted Mansion. Um well, hey, it's cool. We still have another how many weeks? Two. Two weeks? Cool. I am really excited for that seasonal burger with the pineapple, the ham, the slaw. That's like totally right up my alley. Very much and where so. are we getting this from? Galactic Grill. Okay. So a new menu just dropped on January 9th after the holiday season. And so it comes with a lot of fun foods, a lot of pineapple infused and flavored things, love which is like right pineapple. up your alley. So love it, love it, love it. We got a lot of stuff to do. All right, well, let's go. I'm hungry. Yeah. Uh, okay.
Okay, so you were trying to film a little bit for what, like a reel or something? For Instagram and, and I just. You, you got a little excited and totally just ate it. Yeah. Oh my like gosh. All the way to the Did we get that on camera? I might have got that on camera. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Well, now that you've recovered from that, let's um let's let's get my let's food. Get your food. What is it called? Oh, the grilled pineapple ham burger. Yes. Alright, great. I am very excited for that. Of course we mobile ordered. Okay, that was pretty fast. Window five. Let's oh, we're right it. here. Let's go. Eight eight zero seven. Oh wow! That Thank was, you. That looks really good. Yes. Have a good one. All right, I have to say that Galactic Grill has been a long time favorite of mine. They always have really tasty seasonal burgers and sandwiches. So for me. Galactic Grill is always a go-to. They always knock it out of the park. I have to say, like last month, they had the the chicken sandwich the with yes, that, that was, was so really good. good. And they oh had that um, before that. They had the one that you really liked, the Oktoberfest one. Oh, that was really good too. Yeah, they always have a specialty burger at Galactic Grill. I'm a big fan. So let's dig into this, and uh, I'm sure I'm going to love it. And I'm starving. Let's go. Don't uh, hurt yourself with that toothpick now. I knew you would love this one. It's a win. Hey, Kristen. I'm thinking I have to have that lemon pie. It's not on mobile order, so we're just gonna order like good old days. Yeah, good old days. No mobile order, it's all good. The line at Hungry Bear is not too crazy right now. You never know, sometimes no. it's insane. Yeah, the mess is crazy. But honestly, it's Friday. We've had a long work week. Let's have some pie. Let's have and by some let's, pie. I mean I'm gonna have some pie. So then, do I get a churro? Yeah, you, can, you never, you never know where the day is gonna lead. But Hungry Bear has some pretty tasty food sometimes, and I have to say I'm pretty excited about this pie. This is for the hundred year celebration. I just realized. Oh, I need that lemon pie. Credit card. Oh, is that just what I'm here for? <laughs> okay, I have to say Hungry Bear is one of our favorite places to eat. We just love this part of the park. I mean, when you have the train going by right here, it's so charming when you're eating and you hear the whistle of the train and the clackety clack of the train going by. You hear people screaming on Splash Mountain. Never gets old. Gonna pick it up. All right, so in line to pick up our lemon pie. There it is, Bren. Thank you. Okay, well, for me, like we said, lemon or lime of anything, and I am gonna be an instant yes. Now. That's for me. Here's a piece of chocolate. You can have that one. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. So, I'm guessing this is like some whipped cream. Oh. Looks pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. Sweet or tart? Just the right amount of sweet. Is it tarty? Yes, it's got lemon. Oh, wow. Yeah, Good. I am a fan of lemon pie. I haven't had a treat since the new year. No. This is a good way to start one. This is hitting the spot. Happy, happy. I'm thinking we should maybe park up, go check out DCA, get on some uh, fast rides, some need for speed here. I would not mind some need for speed. Incredicoaster, Guardians, Cars, Single Rider. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Good to be back at DCA, don't you think? Yeah, it's fun. And I love just walking down Hollywood Boulevard and now yes, there's yes. You know, Christmas music. It's back to its old timey music. And <laughs> the old it. timey music. Oh, that. Yes, yes. And now we're gonna go over to Guardians. So we're gonna step into Avengers Campus and check that out. Yeah, I really hope we can get on Guardians today. It's been a little too long. Hit or miss with the line. Yeah, exactly. It's been a little it's been a little too long. I'm, I'm hoping we can get on Guardians. Let's go check just it out. I was gonna say, we haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, exactly. I need to drop. Wow, look at how beautiful Guardians of the Galaxy looks. Wow, that looks so epic. I am thinking, based on Kristen's expression on her face, that the line is probably really long, but wow. So 
so I thought we would be able to get on car single rider, which is usually like, that's our go-to strategy. I guess our go-to strategy to get on car single rider is not gonna happen today. I've never seen it that long, actually. It was all the way to where you enter the single rider line. That's where the line started. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so. It's a long one, which is it's kind of crazy because cars isn't that long right now. Really? No. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's our strategy usually, and uh, I guess it's not going to happen today. So we struck out on Guardians, struck out on cars. I guess we have to go check out Screaming. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. Well strike three and you're out yeah i guess that means we're out because yeah screaming we tried guardians we tried yeah. radiator springs racers and then we tried incredible one two three strikes you're out <laughs> yep yep that's gonna probably wrap it up for us tonight we had a wonderful day here park hopping trying the new seasonal burgers the new lemon pie which we will be trying that one again for sure because it was very tasty and just checking everything out you know the park is going through kind of a a little this is january it's kind of the month mm. of you know refurbs yes. changing things up exactly getting it all ready again for the busy summer season yep it's gonna be here before we know it exactly it's gonna be an amazing spring and an even better summer and we so appreciate you watching our videos leave us a comment We'd love to get to know you. We so appreciate you coming on these adventures with us yes. and that you get to come with us as we explore Disneyland. So stay tuned for more. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we'll catch you on our next Neverland, Neverland Adventure. Adventure. See ya.